Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Marek Mulaczek from SiteTraining.co.uk, one of the UK leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to create spilled coffee from this cup of coffee here in a quick and easy way. Okay, so I'm working on this image here. I'm going to start by creating a new layer, just a new empty layer. So create a new layer. I'm going to rename that. I'll call it Coffee. Okay. And I'm going to draw an outline for the spilled coffee. I'm going to use the lasso tool for that. Okay, I'm creating a new selection. I'll zoom in a bit. Okay, maybe I'll scroll down a bit. And I'll start here. I'll just draw an outline for a spilled coffee or milk coming out of the mag. Something like that. And I'll include the top of the Mac at the same time. Looks good. Now I'm going to fill it with grey. So I'll do Edit, Fill. From Use to the menu, I'll use 50% grey. And I'll just press OK. Looks good. Looks not too bad. Now I'm going to deselect it. Select, deselect. And I'll add some shade in here using the dodge tool and band tool. First I start with the dodge tool to add some highlights, maybe some hair. I'm using a soft edged brush. Okay. Hardness set to 0%. And I'm working on the mid-tones. And I'm adding some highlights here. Okay. Looks good. Now I'll add some shadows using the band tool as well. Maybe here on the edges. Just a bit here. Now we're going to blur it in just a moment. So I'm going to convert it into a smart object. Okay. I'll right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. Why did I convert it to a smart object? Because when you work with smart object and you apply a filter to your layer, this filter will uh, become a smart filter. And sm smart filters are fully editable. So I'll I'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'll blur it just a bit. Not too much. Let's see what we got here. just want to s blur the edges. So about 2 pixels looks good. I'll just press OK. I can always change it later on because I'm using the Smart Filter. Let me just zoom out a bit. Now we're going to change the blend mode of this coffee. Okay. Oh, let's have a look. Let's see what filter would be good. I'm thinking about multiply, but we'll give it so uh, color burn looks really good. This looks really good. I like color burn. Very natural as well. Screen looks not too bad. Okay. Overlay looks really interesting. Yeah. But in this case, I like the color burn. Very nice, looks like coffee. And we can lower the opacity of the layer just to make it look more natural to about 50% or so. And it's our spilled coffee on a mag. Quick and easy tip. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulaczek from SciTraining.co.uk and thank you for watching.